The SHAPE project is funded by the Economic Social Research Council and SHAPE stands for Shaping Technology uh, Use in the Classroom. What we're doing with SHAPE is we're working with five different schools, exploring the use of four different technologies in those schools. Because what we're really interested in finding out about is how people can use these technologies and embed them in the curriculum and use them in a way in which children will benefit from them. What all those four technologies have in common is that they focus on developing social communication in children with autism. On the Co-Spatial Project, we developed a number of interactive technologies using collaborative virtual environments and shared active surfaces, which were designed to support social conversation and collaboration skills for children and young people on the autism spectrum. The project was actually looking at the computer as a sensory environment. So I designed a whole series of games, if you like, that actually responded to what children were doing with a mouse or with a keyboard or through vocalisation so the sounds that they made were mirrored. Re Reactor calls to us and gives a good focus for the children. They find it very difficult to give eye contact and to be motivated by a task that's very plain to them in the front. So by having reacticals on literally next to me as my guide, the children are able to give focus to me and then when we start taking that away, they've learned where they should be looking for talking. The ECOS project uh, is concerned with designing uh, technology for children, young children uh, on the autism spectrum as well as typically developing children to help them explore and acquire social interaction skills, especially skills which pertain to their ability to engage in joint activities uh, with others. It is a virtual environment where children can play with virtual agent, engage in joint activities with the agent, and they can manipulate objects in the environment through multi-touch screen. Okay, this is a project called Semantics and it's a project that's really picking up body movement and encouraging children to use their whole bodies to express themselves. So each application is designed to promote a different type of body movement and what we've noticed is very, very quickly the children gain mastery of this through just simply being able to move around and having their movements projected back and reflected or amplified, if you like, through the environment. One of the ways in which we'll hope to make the findings of our research more accessible for a wider audience is by using uh, the SHAPE website to display information in a more visual, more accessible way by simplifying what we say and by really drawing out the practical implications from the research that we have. It's an, uh, an unconditional positive experience really, so it's great. I think for some of these children who find everyday life so difficult, everything they do is a challenge to them. It's quite an incredible, empowering experience to be able to do something and not fail. The digital stories are quite important for us because they are a way in which um, the teachers and the children we're working with can tell their own story about how they're using the technologies in their classroom, in their school because we think people will use them in very different ways and we want people to think very creatively about how you use the technologies and how you communicate to other people. Good morning everybody. Good morning. I'm used to standing up here and doing an assembly and I'm not so used to having so much... The ESSC run a festival of social sciences every year and it really is about taking good social science research out to the communities that we're serving and communicating with them about research that's taking place. We've had loads and loads of different people here today from universities, parents, um, from different schools from all over the country. I think it's achieved um, a kind of a common goal that actually um, autistic children uh, do need technology and they need uh, schools and universities to collaborate in order to make autistic learning more accessible to the wider community.